is slightly more expensive than the GTR and much more luxurious than the Because the European A4 it looks pretty nice. The TT. Uh, I'm not sure. Because now they have the V12 version, a uh, V10 version. The The R8, because it first came with V8, now it's V10. This is the Audi TT Roadster. Looks pretty nice. It's a cross stitched. Okay. Cross stitched leather seats. Very nice for a girl. I mean, or guy. This does look. Very nice headlights. Oh. So this one has the option um, with the LCD cluster, which is called the Technique or the Tech Package with S trim, S line trim. Okay, one of the most baller cars I personally find is the RS7. Um, huge V8, twin turbo probably, 8 speed, manual transmission, looks so nice. Oh my god, look at this, all of these engineering men. But if ever you have something broken, imagine working on it, it's so tight. The headlights, the headlights are LEDs with a large Audi grille represents an Audi and then you have the carbon fiber parts right here and here for the aerodynamic to say hey this is the RS7 man it's not a joke it's not the A7 so the rims the rims the calipers are very big probably the same one as the Porsche's I really like the rims okay we have the RS7 right here um, you know, it's to compete the the more expensive, uh, most expensive Benz as well, the CLS, uh, the S Class. You know, we have very nice. Let's open the door, let's check it out. Sweet, sweet um, door panels with a long leather wrap. <laughs> as well, you have carbon fibers right here, and as well, you have a nicely chrome-ish, uh, aluminium finished speaker grill and what's the most exciting about the RS7 for me is the cross stitch leather seats completely leather so it's very comfortable and once you get in there you're like oh damn this is so cool you know like it's very flashy right here you have like tons of carbon fibers very like black finish piano um, panels steering wheel is gray it looks like the R8 steering wheel inspired probably and you have very nice um, shift shifting quick shift on the steering wheel as well um, it's using the conventional cluster along with the LCD screen um, you have another LCD screen right here you have the very nice shift knob I guess they wanted to keep it you know sporty so they kept this shift knob instead of having this little electronic shift knob so it's a physical shift knob versus the uh, you know much more expensive bands, for example, very nice uh, carbon fiber trim right here, panel. Uh, otherwise, this is not this is soft touch, but it's not leather wrapped on the, the dash. And there's some kind of accents, carbon fiber accents around it. It's pretty cool. And I'm not sure what is this. Oh, it's, just, it's a tweeter. Okay, so it's a very nice tweeter right here. Uh, what else? You know. Uh, you know, normal sunroof with some buttons right here uh, for the lights. It's LED too, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, for the rear, let's see, LED too. Oh, the seats at the rear are very nice. It's like bucket seats. Okay, very nice. No, no, I think I definitely prefer the RS7. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> That's why I'm talking a lot about it. There's two USB plugs. That's pretty cool. 12 volt right here. Very nice carbon fiber finish right here. And the sound looks like it's still 150. Sounds great. What? 143. Yeah. It's not given. Eh? Oh. I can't even control anything. Let's be surprised. 
All right. That's pretty cool. But the seats are so nice. Look at it. Oh, I saw it in it. I love. That's, that's why, I, as soon as I signed in the R8, I'm like. Because me, I'm a big fan of uh, cross. So the rear door is also trimless. Um, seats are very nice too at the back. Ah, I would love to sit at the back, man. Very nice carbon fiber panel right here, trims. There's two speakers right here. Actually, not speakers, but Twitter speaker. And there's another one right here behind me. So, I have this surround sound. It's crazy, man. The controls. The seats are so much more comfortable than the R8. It feels like it's like a, sta a spaceship, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just get ready to be launched into fucking gold. Yo, I would drive this car to tomorrow anytime, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I wouldn't dri mind driving six hours in this car, man. See, that's a moonroof. I'm surrounded by six speakers at the back. Even the lights look like the one from the airplane. Yeah? All right, so uh, let me see this LCD retracting mechanism. Oh, I love it. Open it. Damn it, I love it. Very cool. <laughs> And then you press on the button to close it. Full electric. I think you have to uh, press twice or something like that. Holding. You're holding the other lock. I don't know. I know we can do it, but I, I think it was twice. You no, press just, twice just, one, just once. Not bad. It's pretty cool. Yeah, no, I think definitely the RS7 is better. It does look very nice, the R8. Very nice diffuser, all in carbon fiber. Okay, so this is fully in carbon fiber as well. And I remember the Mazda RS8 has this option for you to get to, to open the door, I guess. Press here. Okay, so everything is like flow, trying to flow the aerodynamic. There are speakers here, speakers here too. Um, the seats, they look very sporty. Probably the same design as the Recaro, because they all look the same design. <laughs> you have buttons right here, just like the F1s, you know, when you press or you switch. Very cool. So, there's nothing high-tech right here. Everything is for the driving experience. Alright, so we have a very nice steering wheel. Really like it. Quick shift. LCD screen, just like the Technique uh, other Audis. Very nice uh, leather wrapped, you know, trim. With uh, not much carbon fiber parts. A nice shift knob right here to control your LCD right here. Um, what else? That's about it. And to open your trunk, there's a button right here. See? And you have decent, nice speakers. Very nice. You want a shotgun? Not bad. So you just press on it? Like a trunk? No, it's. Oh. There's a button in front. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's a 12 volt there. <laughs> Not bad. At least to put a fridge inside, right? At least for 200k, uh, I can, you know, have one to 13. Oh my god, 14. You can see it's very nice quality, man. Look at the hood. Okay, so we have the. Uh, I always forget what's the model of this car. Not the all all road all track. So it's a technique version probably you have the uh, LCD as well for the cluster mm, this is the uh, Q3 if I remember oh yeah it is Q3 because it's smaller and this is the Q7 I believe because it's much much more big yeah it is the Q7 it's much bigger as you can see and surprisingly it has carbon fiber cover for the mirrors side mirrors that's uh, impressive. So 
we have the Q3 here. Um, this one is, oh, it's an electric A3, I think. Yeah, it is. Electric A3. So that's how you do it. So it just kind of slides to cover back the plug. And of course we have the R8 with the new 10 cylinder engine. So this one is redesigned. Um, the grill, the front bumper is different. Uh, probably these are for the intercoolers. Or the re yeah, intercoolers. Probably for the transmission. Because this is a uh, NA car, so I don't believe it's intercooler for the turbo, more more likely for the transmission. Um, transmission cooler. But it does have a very nice stance, especially in red. Very nice headlights to it. And as always, huge calipers for this car. Ceramic disc brakes. You can see the ceramic right here. No, it's very nice. It's very big. So this is your kind of uh, affordable supercar. It has a very nice aerodynamic to it. Oh, we get to see the engine. We have a very small rear window because, you know, you're driving a sport car. Why would you want to go backwards, right? Even you want to park, you just park at the valet. Give it someone to park. You would never park this parallel in the streets of Montreal, right? A lot of carbon fiber parts. Um, there's a lot of people. Oh, they put a slightly less quality on the door panels, but it's okay. And we have a very nice cluster, LCD cluster. There's no conventional gauge. There's nice bucket seats as well. Even the rear has huge calipers. Yeah, it must be expensive to buy tires for this kind of car. But I guess if you have the money, why not? So you have the controls just like the F1 steering wheel. What? So we have the A6 here. The S3 here. So they all have this letter stitched um, seats design, even on the S3. Okay, you see something now? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> It feels like uh, Forza. It might actually be from Forza. Is this from Forza, the, the, the clip? Forza Motorsports, the, the game? No, it's actually being designed by Audi. Yeah, the guys in Audi. Oh shit, I can see the... the, the oh shit, <laughs> it feels like I'm driving it. Are you going to try it, John? Uh, no, no, you go first. Oh shit, like you see the shift knob right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also see it's like that. Uh, I see the seat instead of seeing myself. That's pretty cool. How, how do I drive it? Right? You can drive it! Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> you want to hear it? Yeah. That's how it's on the R8. Okay. Real fast. Uh, just give me a second now. Look on, look on top. Look on top. Yeah. Okay. Because this one is the spider. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it's opening the convertible. Okay. It's 
Pretty cool. Look up. Look completely up. Okay. It feels like I'm in Morse or something though. Stand up and look at the f look at the hood. Stand up and look at the hood. Is that how you pitch a sail? Huh? Is that how you pitch a sail? <laughs> Pretty much. And then you can see it from the outside. No, I, 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 I've used I Fiori before. Can, it is different, man. You cannot have red or red. So, black and red. Come try it. Black come interior and... No, no, I'm good, I'm good. Black, it will be black interior and red exterior. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. You're making me dizzy, man. Can you put him in the car and go for a test drive? Uh, no, no, the car stays party because uh, they told you you're a dangerous driver. So, I'm not gonna give you my key. <laughs> Alright, it's closed. Yeah. Door open. Door's open. Yeah. Oh, am, I, am I supposed to see it? That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's all. How was it? Awesome. Uh, <laughs> awesome. I'm going, man. 